Amazing Race is critically important because it's, it actually creates a space for Americans of all backgrounds to have a frank, honest dialogue. To me, the Facing Race Conference and the project of Facing Race is just such a critical opportunity for people to come together to dismantle the work of racism and instead to build the work of a multiracial community. Working toward racial justice is never a solo endeavor. Without a strong community, we can't reach our goals. That's why I'm inviting you to Facing Race 2012, November 15 to 17 in Baltimore, Maryland. Facing race is important because America is in a state of racial denial. There's so many people doing amazing work all across the country. It really raises the bar for all of us um, to take responsibility, to appreciate and acknowledge our resources and our talents. To really have folks who are on the ground doing the work in communities, in media, online and on the ground to really talk to one another I think is huge and it's been fantastic. Just days after the election, Facing Race is where we can celebrate racial justice victories and strategize together on future challenges. It allows us to learn about issues that have extraordinary significance to our people, to our communities, and to our work, but that we may not have the opportunity to learn about any other way. All of these things make us who we are, and all of these things have the potential to make us better persons. That is why facing race is so important. We're especially excited that Pulitzer Prize winning author Junot Diaz is delivering the keynote at this year's conference. Diaz's writing consistently talks about race in nuanced and accessible ways. We have a reality that race still impacts uh, so much about people's health, their wealth, uh, where they live, who they can become. You have to talk about race. That's why my act and my work, I talk about race a lot because I want people to bring it up in different ways and talk about it in different ways. The discussion is where the, actually the racism starts to end. Uh, but yeah, I'd never heard the word post-racial before, so I went to a dictionary and looked it up and I found out what it means. Absolutely nothing. Uh... Until you understand race and how it shaped the economy, in this country, you won't fully understand why things are the way that they are today. ARC has been working to achieve racial justice through media, research, and activism for the past 30 years. As executive director, it's extremely gratifying for me to go to Facing Race and meet people that I've only known virtually, and to hear their stories about how coming together helped transform the way they think about race. I really look forward to seeing you there.